Hi, my name is Elise, and I'm a blogger and social media marketer for iDogClothing.com. And today we wanted to bring you your first video blog posting. I wanted to do a story that I've seen recently come up on Twitter newsfeed, and a story that I've seen come up it uh, works around the idea of working our service dogs. Um, not necessarily the guide dogs, but our dogs in the war, or police dogs, otherwise known as canines. So I did a little bit of research and I wanted to bring today a few stories that I thought were really interesting and caught my attention. Uh, po war dogs, otherwise known as military working dogs, police dogs, canines, um, they're used as scouts, trackers, bomb detectors, sentries, and they've been used actually since ancient times through the Greeks, Romans, and Persians and they've risked their lives defending their country by being messengers and actual fighters in the war. Um, currently, they can be seen in the Air Force, used for intimidation tactics, etc. Um, police dogs that we see in our community are actually used to enforce order by being detection dogs, search and rescue dogs, bomb sniffers, and even cadaver sniffing dogs. The most common breeds we see today are German Shepherds, Labrador Retrievers, Rottweilers, and Bloodhounds. And they're actually, when they do pass away, they're given a police funeral, which is really interesting to know. A few stories that I've seen on our news feeds is of a dog named Target, and he was actually mistakenly euthanized in Arizona recently. He was a dog that was found in Afghanistan and was used and saved at least 50 people's lives by attacking a suicide bomber um, and helped making him detonate his bomb early. But he was brought back to the United States and he ran away from home and he was mistakenly euthanized in a shelter, which is just extremely devastating because he is a true hero of our society. Um, so that was a, a, an article that I've seen come up recently. Another one that I've seen a story is of a dog named Bike, and he's a retired dog from New Jersey. He was on the force for eight years, but he recently um, was immobilized because he has a severe spinal degeneration condition. But he now has a set of wheels or a wheelchair, and he can walk or he can be mobile again. Uh, it was generously donated by somebody, and. Um, I was just really happy to see that our dog in service could actually, um, even though he was immobilized, someone was generous enough to help him out and become mobile again. The third story that I thought was really interesting is there's a canine competition this coming Saturday in California, and dogs from all over the country come and compete in a competition. Um, some of the courses are an agility course, fight demonstrations, and obedience training or obedience, obedience drills. So I thought that was really exciting that the public can come and view all of our dogs and service and see what they actually have to offer. Uh, those are a few stories that I saw and I just wanted to give you a bit of background on police dogs or canines. Uh, please show support for our dogs and service and recognize them as true heroes of our society. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Elise, blogger and social media marketer for iDogClothing.com. Bye.